Operant Pavlovian Conditioning Generalization Generalization. In conditioning, stimulus generalization is the tendency for the conditioned stimulus to evoke similar responses after the response has been conditioned. A classic example of generalization is presented in the Little Albert experiment by John B. Watson and Rosalie Rayner, where they conditioned a little boy to fear a white rat. The boy was observed to experience stimulus generalization by showing fear in response to similar stimuli including a dog, a rabbit, a fur coat and a white Santa Claus bead. Pavlovian conditioning. Pavlovian or classical conditioning as it has subsequently come to be known, is the process through which an initially neutral stimulus, the conditioned stimulus, which does not elicit a particular reflexive response, comes to elicit a reflexive response, the conditioned response, as a result of being paired with a reflexive stimulus, the unconditioned stimulus which elicits the unconditioned response. In Pavlovian conditioning, generalization occurs when making a conditioned response to a stimulus other than the conditioned stimulus, usually on the basis of perceptual similarity between the new stimulus and the conditioned stimulus. Ooh, this is chocolate flavoured deodorant. How do you know it'll be nice? You can't test that. Because it's chocolate and who doesn't love chocolate? Operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is a method of learning that occurs through rewarding or punishing behaviour. The reward or punishment becomes the consequence for that behaviour through association. So if we want to teach a dog to sit up, we reward the dog when it sits up and the dog learns the association between the behaviour and the reward. In operant conditioning, generalisation can be an increase in responding outside of the reinforcement context or stimulus or decreases in responding outside of the punishment context. Is Good girl! Like doing anything, I just wanna. Learn.